You are listening to a Higher Things production. Higher Things is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose mission is to make the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults through gospel rich content like you are about to hear. Consider joining our supporters who make this ministry possible by donating at higherthings.org slash giving or by clicking the link in the show notes. And now, Higher Things presents The Uncultured Saints with Pastors Eli Leedsow and Harrison Goodman. So anyway, uh, Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the sea and a great crowd followed Wait, him from are Galilee and Judea. Wait, where are we? going to let people know where we're at? In Mark chapter three, beginning at verse seven. Sorry, sorry. By the sea, sorry, we're sorry. by the sea, where a are great you, crowd are you followed let, from are you Galilee. Let Phil, know where we're at. Phil, you can follow along in Mark <laughs> chapter three, <laughs> picking back up at verse eight. Uh, Jerusalem and Udumea, and from beyond the Jordan and around Tyre and Sidon. When a great crowd heard all that he was doing, they came to him, and he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, lest they crush him. For he had healed many, so that all who had diseases pressed around to touch him. Whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. And he strictly ordered them not to make him known. There's some interesting things in there, right? Maybe. Mm, mosh pit for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Like at all those ska concerts back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. Back in the day. Mosh pits for Jesus. Um. <laughs> No, that is interesting. The way that he uh, Mark puts that that lest they crush him and and uh, in in my studying, like the the Greek is is really that like, like squished, <laughs> right? But it's it's like he is presently being in the process he, of it getting being that squished. Close. Yeah, right. It is that close uh, uh, to uh, you know having something bad happen, which I don't know, like. This is this is like uh, this is this is mu- what it must have felt like for Phil Collins in his heyday, right? Like just <laughs> just like everybody, everybody just surrounding him. Just needs a boat. <laughs> I bet it was a pontoon. Uh, <laughs> but no, but like so, it does draw a parallel. Oh, do you have actual like a, a theological point or, or just sort of another kitschy reference? No, just Phil Collins. I'm, I'm, we're running <laughs> Phil Collins for the next twenty five minutes. I don't have enough material for this particular (laughs) bit, but we're going to, we're going to lean heavily upon you and your, your plethora of uh, relevant information. Um, So no, there's a, there's kind of a connection here. Cause I I remember another time where Jesus is almost overwhelmed by a crowd, except they're trying to, they're trying to kill him. Um, And this, in that time he passes through them uh, unmolested. Um, I I don't know exactly how he does that. Uh, Just sort of does, you know, ghost Jesus or, or what, Um, but, but here he actually, he needs a boat and, and he needs to sort of be like, let out the back door, like Taylor Swift after the chiefs game. Um, It's, I, I can't feel Collins. I can't. Oh, okay. I saw on TikTok that that they hid her in a snack cart, a la Ocean's Eleven. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, well well versed in the Ocean's movies. What about twelve or thirteen? Mm-mm. Sorry, eight. They have to. No, they have to keep getting a cast member every time. And because it's, it's sort of, you know, the right kind of American movie, nobody can die. So, like, you're never going to actually go backwards and, and have confusion over which title this is, like the Fast and the Furious, <laughs> where, like, you don't actually know which one they're talking about. Um, why does uh, why does fast. Jesus... Go ahead. Eight fast, eight furious. Uh, why does Jesus order uh, the, the demons not to talk about talk about him again we, we've talked about this but like at this point in time everybody already knows dude so like why not the, like the whole crowd they're gonna they're gonna squish him there's so many people like it, it's not exactly on the low anymore this is not the underground set right yeah i don't know um and again i i think they're because we we have him telling two different sets of people right or two different sets of entities people mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. demons Mm-hmm. And, and with the, the people, uh, like we said before, I, I think you can say they don't have a full understanding of him. Um, the demons do, right? I mean, the demons say uh, oftentimes, right, us, have yeah. become to destroy us. Like that that's speaking to, to his lordship over all things. Um, so I don't know, other than the fact that uh, at his ascension, 
um, which obviously hasn't happened yet. But at his ascension, we uh, when you read the book of Revelation and and uh, is it verse twelve with the dragon and and all of that sort of stuff, uh, you get the understanding that uh, he no longer Satan no longer has a, a voice in the heavenly throne room. Uh, uh, to to speak at all, right? He's he's completely silent. It, it seems up to that point that he's he's actually there. He's got a voice, right? Uh, right. We know with Job, for example, like he stands before the throne and accuses Job. Exactly. So it seems at the ascension that 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 uh, he's cast out forever and he no longer has that voice. And I'm curious if this is just the beginning of it. Like, no, 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 demons, you don't get a talk in my presence, even if you're saying the truth because you can't say anything otherwise um, because uh, I'm here. Um, you don't get to speak in my presence. That's that's the authority I have over you. I like it. And it's probably yeah. completely wrong, but no, I'm I'm willing to go with it. Um, and, and so if we're willing to sort of connect those dots, then um, it, it it's actually tied then here uh, to to healing. Um, we we know though that that frequently Jesus is preaching before the healing. Uh, that sort of throughout Mark, um, and we're going to kind of come to another one of it. Uh, the the sort of the miraculous actions that we we always go looking for in our, our sort of theology of glory is always offset by the fact that Jesus preaches first and then the consequence of his preaching is is made manifest later. Um and, and so uh for example, we had a one where you know a guy was mission impossible through the roof. Um and the first thing Jesus does to the paralytic is he tells him his sins are forgiven. Um he 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 actually addresses the root cause for the things that are wrong in this world. And and the demons being present is one too. Uh that 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 there is such thing as as demons to accuse us and torment us. It is it is proof that there's sin in the world and Jesus is there to bear that himself. And so part of that has to be then to silence, to silence the foes. Right. No, I like it. I'm, I'm good with that. You have a Phil Collins reference handy or? Uh... No, not yet. Okay. I'll, I'll try to shoehorn something. That's, uh, that's me every time I preach the gospel. Uh, so beginning at verse 13. La, 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 uh, la, la. Oh, and Jesus died on the cross. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And Jesus went up on the mountain and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. And he appointed 12, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. He appointed the 12, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boanerges, that is, the sons of thunder. No, I like yeah. that. Uh, say, say, that the- say that again, because I, I think you nailed it. Did I, I, that was a one and done kind of situation then. Andrew and Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas and James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus and Simon the Zealot and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, this is where the Lord... What? That's how they introduce him. Judas who betrayed him. And and like, yeah, the Bible's bad at foreshadowing. Um, it's just like, I, I should keep my eye on that guy. Um, <laughs> just right there. Uh, so so the 12 are actually gathered um, here. The, the, the purpose is actually displayed before the names, and I kind of like that. Um, it, it's not a, a question of who these men are, but what these men will be sent to do. Um, he sends them out to preach and, uh, and enter uh, or usher in the conquering of the evil one. Yeah, they also have the authority to cast out demons, which is yeah. kind, of, it's kind of amazing. We're going to see later on uh, that uh, uh, they kind of uh, – I don't i don't know if I'm saying this wrong. They kind of lose that authority. It's right after the Mount of Transfiguration. They come down and uh, they can't cast this demon out. Yeah. Um, and then Jesus is like, oh, because uh, you need to be able to uh, – uh, only this right. demon uh, is uh, with prayer. Mm-hmm. Right? And then we're just like, oh, we just have to pray. And then we have the authority of the demons. And that's a fun one because we'll like the there, whole time yeah. jesus yeah jesus is is explaining this he's like twisting the knife the whole time right um yeah. it, it's actually pretty great but here it seems their failure it, is pretty great <laughs> for me yeah no it makes me feel a lot better about myself yeah actually no I, that's i uh this is my my path on the lower road um if i can make you look bad i look better here we go right right well not only hold on i'm gonna put the best construction on this I okay. actually, I actually um, like to go through uh, uh, the, the the Bible and see uh, that the the way in which I viewed all of these characters in Sunday school mm. um, 
that they they are saints only because of Christ, not because yeah. of their works, right? Right. So let's let Peter be as Peter as Peter is, right? Let's let Abraham do his bad Abraham stuff. And let's not try and sweep that stuff under the rug. Just be like, oh, look at the God who actually works through this evil and garbage. Yeah. For our good. Wow. If if he could work uh, through Abraham being a pimp, uh, he could probably uh, bring good in my life, too. Right. Just, just it, saying. So – um. If this is the case, then it's tied to the means by which God would work, not not by the character of the people he's working through. Um, and so I wonder if the, the casting out of demons wasn't actually done in the fact that uh, we also know that the apostles were sent out to baptize. They were they were preaching and baptizing that that the casting out of demons might have been through the rite of baptism, which which it, it's an exorcism. Um, your baptism is an exorcism. Your baptism casts out demons. It leaves no room for any spirit but the Holy Spirit. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah. I mean, this section here, it seems to be the genesis of the apostolic ministry. Genesis, mm -hmm. Phil Collins. <clears throat> um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but uh, it, it's it's interesting to see. And and the the way in which uh, uh, Mark names them is, is I think, interesting, too. I, we as Lutherans, we don't like to give Peter credit where, where credit is due. It does seem as if every single... Um, not Peter Gabriel, of course, with Genesis, but Peter the <laughs> Apostle. Um, it does seem... <laughs> yes! <laughs> it does seem that uh, that Peter does have this this place of prominence. Um, he, at the very least, as, as we'll see uh, throughout the rest of Scripture, he is... Um, He's the one who isn't scared of voicing everybody's opinions, of, of being that mouthpiece of the apostles and, and taking, uh, taking that road. And we see that in the book of Acts too, right? It's, it's, it's him and John that we get to see it. And Peter's the guy who, who does that amazing uh, Pentecost sermon. Um, so it's, 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 it's kind of neat to see uh, that he's, he's the one who, who gets to start here. Um, why do you keep laughing? I was just thinking it's great that Peter preaches good, but the rest of his life is a disaster. It, it's um, <laughs> I love it. Right, he's not. Yeah, he he does a great sermon. It, and I'm sure that's not the only one uh, in the Book of Acts. He's able to do some other things. Uh, uh, then, but then he still screws up, right? With, with oh yeah, the, yeah. He still screws up. We see that in in uh, uh, Galatians and in that first apostolic council and act. I mean. Our Lord works uh, even not just the pastoral ministry. I mean, just look at the two of us, as you can see how how sinful we are, and and how we shouldn't be the ones uh, doing anything good. Um, but he even does that through the apostolic ministry, right? Yeah, look at the the people who he who he set up uh, to use here. We've got we've got Peter who betrays him uh, uh, or or denies him, uh, and 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 still screws things up after the resurrection. Um, We've got uh, John and and James, his brother, who seem to be uh, quite zealous uh, and not necessarily in the good way. I don't know if Mark speaks about it, but they're the two guys who can't wait to call down uh, fire and brimstone and destroy a bunch of people. Like these are these are sinful people, um, and yet our Lord brings good through them. He, he yeah. establishes the church. It's, it's kind of amazing. Right. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. No, Who's your favorite Bart. guy? Bartholomew? Bartholomew. Yeah. Love me, St. Bart. Um, son son of Tholomew? That, it's, it's just a rough life all around. Um, but that's what it is, right? Because that's, that's why he's named Nathaniel elsewhere, right? That's his actual name. This is- Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Bartholomew. That bar, right? Barjoda. Yeah, bar, yeah. Right? It's son of- Tholomew or whatever, I guess, but it's it's the way to distinguish him. Hmm. There you go. So Saint why'd Bart, your cup, why'd your cup turn pink? It was always pink. It was yellow last time. Oh well, I threw that away. Got I, a, I got good. a new solo cup. I guess that's good. You keep them for a long time, if actually. Well, this is for uh, this is for that uh, that silly uh, that that silly Sunday in in Advent and Lent, <laughs> right? It's rose, it's not pink. Yeah. 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 It's rose, right. Uh, because because uh yeah. Uh it's it's good to spend all that extra money on those vestments. I really need I really need to spend 
uh, 2,000 more dollars. Church, why? Well, for two Sundays out of the year, I would like to dress in pink. That's, uh, that's an interesting choice there, Pastor, but the roof is leaking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but pink. Pink. Anyway, sorry. Uh, wow. That, that'll that'll fix it. Yeah. Um, so Something anyway, that's in then, the air tonight. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to hurry along because there's not a lot of there's not as many references as I think you're setting us up to to have. Uh, so it I'm just be. gonna I'm just gonna keep reading. Yeah. Uh, so Jesus went home, and the crowd gathered again, so they could not even eat. And when his family heard it, they went out to seize him, for they were saying he's out of his mind. Uh, and this, go ahead. No, oh, isn't that crazy? Uh, a little. <clears throat> I mean, not only is that crazy, but they think he's crazy. And I'm curious about who. Like, who's his family? They don't distinguish here. right? Later on, we're going to hear him distinguish uh, his, his mom and his brothers come. And then he asks, who's my mother and brother? And we've heard that before. I think Mark might be the only one who has this little blurb in there. Mm-hmm. Like, like his family, because they're in, where are they at? They're somewhere, right? He went home. So they're wherever home is at, at that point. Nazareth still, maybe. I don't know. But the the family knows what he's been doing. Um, and I don't know if it's Mary included, but let's just say it's his brothers and his sister who, okay, I live. Right. Oh, right, 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 right. Perpetual Virginia. I get it. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Um, Rome hates this verse. All right. <laughs> as does Luther. Um, but nonetheless, uh yeah, what was I saying? Oh, they think he's crazy. <laughs> they they lived however many years with him, right? Um, and, it, and surely it was it was uh, uh, bad enough that he never sinned, uh, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> Say that better. Um, <laughs> no, think about it. As, I just wish you would sin more, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> if I was his brother, I sure would. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm like. Yeah. Why do you always got to be perfect, Jesus? Like, I'm always getting in trouble. <laughs> Can you just mess up once? Just forget be, to do the dishes one time. Be tough. No? Okay. Be tough. Right? But here they and, – and I'm curious if this is a, um, a familial thing too, like a cultural thing. Mm. Like, do they think like Jesus in, in his audacity of claiming to be Messiah and the Son of God – I don't know. Do they think that he's bringing shame upon upon their family? I mean, if if he's wrong, then yeah. But uh, right, but I mean, they're but they're convinced that he's wrong. Right, they're actually trying to stop it. Like they they want to seize him, um, which boggles my mind too. Because Mary's not dead, presumably Joseph is, but Mary isn't. Like, did Mary not? Is Mary involved in this? Did she forget? So, I mean, we're entering. Yeah, we're entering into the realm of speculation, and and right. so it it's it's, it's not something you can ever absolutely nothing but good would come here. You could you could sort of say um, this is a get behind me Satan moment where they actually understand everything that's going to happen because he's he's pretty clear the Son of Man will go into Jerusalem dying on the third day rise. Um, it's just not public yet, um, and they don't want this to happen. Uh, it, it could just be like maybe they just don't want everybody coming by the house at two in the morning asking to get their broke toe healed. Um, like, guys, we, we need a little peace and quiet. Can we establish Wait, office hours? Um, this is getting out of control. You and your your friends are are causing a ruckus in the basement and everybody's trying to sleep. Um, it's just, it's yeah. just time to, it's just time to shush. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's ambiguous. I, I, I'm not, I'm not super worried about it. No, I'm not either. I just, it is just interesting that Mark's blunt about it. And Mark's blunt it, about everything. I love right. it. Right. But it's just, it's, they, they literally think he's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like he's wackadoo. Like has completely lost it. I still don't know if this is just all a lead up to a Phil Collins joke. I don't know enough. I don't know okay. enough. Phil Collins. Cool. So, yeah, well, it's, uh, we, we shouldn't just pick our topics without 
giving thought to it, like the book of Mark. Uh, so the scribes came down uh, from Jerusalem and were saying he is possessed by Beelzebul and by the prince of demons, he casts out demons. And he called to him and said to them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? If the kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but is coming to an end. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man. Then indeed he may plunder the house. Yeah. So this is silly. Right? <laughs> I mean, not what, Je- not what Jesus said. What the scribe <laughs> like it seems like already the scribes are just grasping at straws here no this is a common go-to we do it too like anything we don't like we try to put on the other team um we we try and sort of detribalize it um you, you're not a part of us you're a part of them and so if you're the church if you are the, the scribes and the pharisees um then of course the only place to to sort of cast arrows now is is to put you in the camp of the devil um no that may i i, I get that but their logic is horrible, right? It, it's not like it's not like they're saying uh, he's calling himself the son of God, therefore he's of the demons. He's saying he can cast out demons because he's of the demons. Like they don't even use correct logic, right? Because they're not starting with logic. They're starting with themselves. Their, their big right. fear right now has already been established. He will take away our power. <laughs> and so if you the, – the, their idea of the church is themselves and not – the Lord. And here again, it, it actually, it makes perfect sense because it happens all the time. We do this with our institutions left, right, and center. We start with the idea that the institution is the most important thing. The, the, the way that things used to be is the most important thing. And anything that would challenge it is obviously of the devil, even if that happens to be God Almighty in his word. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess I would be doing the same dumb stuff as these guys. And, and I mean, so here we, we get to sort of recognize that, yeah, if you're willing to apply logic to it, of course, it doesn't make sense. But this is not a question of sort of thought, but of heart. Um, and so Jesus, uh, he, he's not necessarily just reasoning with them. He's telling them what's happening right now. Because um, he, he, you're, you're right, though. The logic here is pretty simple. If, if Satan's fighting himself, he's just going to punch himself in the face. And guys, that would be hilarious. Uh, Thus saith the Lord. Uh, right. But but really, he, he's actually sort of saying here <clears throat> that uh, the strong man's house right now, right here, where you guys are establishing your you're hoping all the wrong things is being plundered because the, the, the demons who are, are sort of whispering in your ears to call the son of God and all that is holy evil, that's being bound right now, even as your, your mouths are being shut. Like even as Jesus <clears throat> preaches, the devil is losing. Yeah. I, I, it's, it, it, it's, uh, baffling mind, mind boggling, uh, the, the, the lengths that they'll go. Um, we're studying the book of acts on Sundays. Uh, for Bible study, and uh, Peter starts his uh, uh, starts his sermon right uh, right after they say, uh, uh, "Hey, these guys have just uh, had too much wine." And Peter says, oh, "No, it's it's nine in the morning." There's a lot there which I didn't know until I did the study, and we don't have time for that. But 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 then not only does he say like no self respecting Jew would be uh, 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 drunk at nine in the morning, so so you're 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 speaking false testimony against your brother um but you guys are missing the bigger point what you are saying is a bunch of drunkards is actually the fulfillment of the word of the lord like let's not take lightly what's what what you're what you're calling here like you're calling a fulfillment of prophecy a bunch of drunkards, which is just kind of I, I never recognized that before. But we got the same sort of kind of the same sort of thing uh, happening here with with the scribes. And like you said, they want to in so, uh, in so much they want to hold on to their power and whatever authority they believe that they have that they're willing to call uh, uh, God in the flesh uh, of the demons. But I think I, I love the way that Mark actually uh, speaks about this and not just he's he's deciding to use what prepositions to use. It's it's the Holy Spirit who does so. But he's the only one. I think we said this before at his baptism. Where did the where did the Holy Spirit go Onto Jesus? Not on to. That's Matthew and Luke. OK, help me. He goes in mm. Jesus. The preposition is almost always translated in. Mark says in. So it, it Mark has this almost, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Um, uh, this good possession, right? The Holy Spirit is going in to Jesus at his baptism. 
Um, and and here we we've got the scribe saying, no, 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 the Holy Spirit isn't in this man. The demons, Satan is in this man. So we've got two giant dichotomies of no, no, no. They're saying uh, the demons and Satan himself is in this man, when in reality, the Holy Spirit is in this man. Brilliant. And it, it applies to us too then. So um, to, to kind of push on it, um, this is this is Christian life being solved. Um, here, we, we have to sort of recognize um, if you have two wills, if you are against yourself, you cannot stand. Uh, then put your, yourself in those shoes as a sinner. Every day you wake up to want to serve the Lord and then you get in your own way. You are a house divided against yourself and you cannot stand. The only way that Christians are going to make it out is not sort of by their will um, or, or by somehow conjoining uh, their, their efforts against something because because Satan is already uh, divided against Satan here inside of me. Uh, instead, I need I need Christ to send forth the Holy Spirit to be in me, um, so that Satan can be bound, so that old Adam can can be daily drowned in the waters of my baptism, and new man can daily emerge and arise. This is a picture of the symbol and, and how to deal with it. Um, you're not going to out muscle this. You have to you have to actually sort of embrace the death of it, um, where 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 the strong man, where the the devil is bound, right. Nice. Well done. I like it. <clears throat> oh, we got two we and a half minutes it. left. We could do we this. Do Truly, well, I say to you, all sins will faster. be forgiven. The children of man. You're and the worst. Whatever blasphemies they utter, but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said he has an unclean spirit. I don't think we're going to get through it all because no. uh, we only got two minutes left. And now we've got the... the uh, 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 unforgivable sin so what is it what's the unforgivable uh, sin because i need to make sure i haven't broken that this is actually really important the, un the only unforgivable sin is unbelief right. um and anytime you would have anything else put in your ears be it uh, and you can pick the sins of the day transgenderism or homosexuality or, or not listening to your parents or, or listening to country music like any of these things that are sort of the unforgivable sin um jesus died for that the only place to, to have less Jesus is to have less Jesus, to, to run away from Jesus, to, to curse the, the name and the source of the forgiveness. Right, right. And so that's blaspheming the Holy Spirit because uh, as, as good Lutherans, and we're not saying just the Lutherans because we're Lutherans, but the way in which Scripture speaks about this, right? I believe that I cannot believe, right? I believe yeah. that I, I I can't do this by my own reason and strength, but the Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel and me with this gift, blah, 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 all the stuff that he does, right? The blah, blah, blah. <laughs> does that work for your catechism students? Like, <laughs> if, they, if they're like, blah, 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 and you're like, this is most certainly true, <laughs> pass. <laughs> well done. Oh, good faithful servant, right? Um, <laughs> yada, yada, yada. But... <laughs> No, the uh, uh, I lost my train of thought again. Sorry, that's no, my that's bad. Okay, no, <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit. Oh, right, it's the Holy Spirit who's actually bringing us to faith, right? And and He's the one who does. Yes, give me yeah bubbles. Oh, there you that go. was new. The, one is one is the bubble. Okay, okay. I, I can um, give you one of these too. But the Holy Spirit. You do a bad job. But the Holy, <laughs> Holy Spirit is the one who actually brings us uh, to this faith. So the, the blaspheming against him would be rejecting what the Holy Spirit is, is telling you, rejecting yeah. that the Holy Spirit is bringing Christ to you. And you're saying, mm, that's, that's, not, that's, that's not for me. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if he died for me. Nah, well, it's not even could, a, a not sure. It's, a, it's, an, it's an abject rejection. Right. I can like, go to here's forgiveness. You're like, nah, I'm good. Yep. I'll, I'll get my I'll get myself there, if there is there, whatever it doesn't matter. Right, and, and that actually it, it lets you paint sort of that the church's unforgivable sins against it. It's the Pharisee and the tax collector painted in many different colors, but you, you can have sort of the the, the self restrained young man who never ever goes to a website he shouldn't go to, uh, who is convinced by his own reason and strength he can he can earn for himself a, a better everything, being lost as opposed to somebody struggling to find themselves in their birth gender every day, but rejoicing that Christ forgives them being entered into the, uh, ushered into the kingdom of heaven. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, I think we're at time, aren't we? Yeah. What's your favorite Phil song, Phil Collins song? The Lion King one. See, that would be Elton John. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got nothing. We're down to no listeners. <laughs> we out. <laughs>